This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by... One of the reasons people don't read the Constitution, well, it has something to do with the word read. People don't want to read. They'd rather see the movie. This beauty packs a lot of power. So how about I make a movie out of the Constitution? And, by the way, I'm not talking about that crappy federal constitution. I'm talking about the New Hampshire Constitution. This document preceded the U.S. coup constitution, as I like to call it, by about five years. It's more robust in its articulation of individual rights. And some of the good things about the federal constitution were modeled on the New Hampshire Constitution. Anyway, I'd like to go ahead and read it to you and illustrate it to you. State Constitution, Bill of Rights, established October 31st, 1783, effective June 2nd, 1784, as subsequently amended and enforced January 2007. Article 1, Equality of Men, Origin and Object of Government. All men are born equally free and independent. Therefore, all government of right originates from the people. This seems to be a message that's lost on this legislature. Is founded in consent and instituted for the general good. June 2nd, 1784. Article 2. Natural Rights. All men have certain natural, essential, and inherent rights, among which are the enjoying and defending life, and liberty, acquiring, possessing, and protecting property, and, in a word, of seeking and obtaining happiness. And continued with I will and you will and we will. Equality of rights under the law shall not be denied or abridged by this state on account of race, creed, color, sex, or national origin. Unquote. That was June 2nd, uh, so June 2nd 1784 amended 1974, adding sentence to prohibit discrimination by the state. In that one date, there is a lot of significance in the sense that it shows how much more democratic the New Hampshire system is than the U.S. system. I'm not saying that's necessarily a good thing, but it is certainly more American. Attempts to address the discrimination in the federal constitution in the 1970s failed, uh, but this one went through in the New Hampshire Constitution. Constitutional amendments in New Hampshire are voted on by the whole people and require a two-thirds majority to pass. And the magazine for this is... Continuing, quote, Article 2A, the bearing of arms. All persons have the right to keep and bear arms in defense of themselves, their families, their property, and the state. December 1st, 1982. It's a 40 caliber. Yeah, get, your, get your finger um, out of it. Article 3. Society, its organization and purposes. When men enter into a state of society, they surrender up some of their natural rights to that society in order to ensure the protection of others, and without such an equivalent, the surrender is void. June 2nd, 1784. Article 4. Rights of conscience unalienable. Among the natural rights, some are, in their very nature, unalienable, because no equivalent can be given or received for them. Of this kind are the rights of conscience. June 2, 1784. Article 5. Religious Freedom Recognized. Every individual has a natural and unalienable right to worship God according to the dictates of his own conscience and reason, and no subject shall be hurt, molested, or restrained in his peers on liberty or estate for worshiping God in the manner and season most agreeable to the dictates of his own conscience, or for his religious profession, sentiments, or persuasion, provided he doth not disturb the public peace or disturb others in their religious worship. June 2nd, 1784.
it's my happy duty to report to you that this edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance. You cannot do this at the State House without hitting one of these guys. They're all over the place, fighting for your freedom, but they need your help. Please join them at nhliberty.org. Oh, and make that us. Join us, because I'm a member. nhliberty.org